Once the, the sight started going completely in my left eye, it, um, all you do is worry eventually whether it's going to happen with both eyes and how you're going to cope. You've got a problem with your eyes, you're not able to do this, you're not able to do that. I've always been an independent person and I was having to depend more on people. I could get a good job and then lose my vision and I wouldn't be able to do that job. <laughs> I didn't take it very well, I still haven't accepted it fully. It really knocks you for six when you don't, you've got a really hectic life and then all of a sudden you haven't got a life. I wasn't happy about it, obviously. I would have preferred to stay personally sighted. It was very hard. I'm not as confident, and I feel I've, all, I've always been a confident person, but I'm feeling now because of my sight, and it could get worse, that I'm losing some of that confidence. Knowledge Village was created to disseminate our knowledge because um, we realise that there are people out there that haven't got the support that they may have in their local authorities. Um, and it was a simple kind of premise really. Wouldn't it be great if we had a place where anybody could access our information? So all the skills and all the knowledge that the teams have got in one place for free for anybody. Anyone with a visual impairment, anybody attached to them, and our professionals. Um, and essentially, we do that by blogs, by booklets, but mostly by videos. The brief was really brief. It was just about what do you know? Whatever you know, get it on film. I can't read. That was another thing, because I like reading. I can't really cross a road, so I've had to like make some big adaptations like walking for miles, looking for like the crossings, you know, that operate by push buttons and that sort of thing. Couldn't make a brew. It was hard just trying to walk around the house without walking into something. Transport is a pain. Like at one time I could I knew when buzz were coming. I had an idea. I could see buzz numbers. The subject matter is a bit like an onion, they're multi-layered. So there'll be products, there'll be apps, there'll be daily living skills, so how do you guide somebody, uh, how to be guided, what a white cane's all about. Um, eye conditions, you know, we, we explain what an eye condition is, but we can show it using simulators as well. There'll be life hacks that, you know, are not necessarily designed for somebody with visual impairment, but they work and they help, because we can't, we can't change what you've got. You know, it'd be too late by the time people come to us. But we can definitely help you do things that you were used to doing, like using your mobile phone. Just what time is it? Some people, it drives people mad. You know, I, I just want to know what the time is constantly. Can't anymore. Well, just get a watch that tells you the time or, you know, get a phone and ask it. You know, these things that me and you take for granted, other people don't. The hospital uh, put me in touch with uh, the RNIB and Henshaws. I got in touch with Henshaws and started coming. I come to a tech group now for Henshaws and every month they tell us all about the new technology that's coming out. I mean, the first thing I got was this. The time is 12.36pm. It's a talking watch. It's the Henshaws. You're learning all the stuff what's available for blind people. All this that I wouldn't have done before because I lost my confidence. Technology. So, some of it I get off podcasts uh, from the web, uh, but then you come here and it, it's kind of just discussing it with other people and how they use it. Things you can do on your, on your iPhone. They're talking about which, if you're outside, will point out if you say, I want to go to the bus stop and it'll tell you where it is. When I'm walking down the street, I turn onto another street, the app will tell me what street I've just turned onto. So there's all sorts of things that they help people with. And I think it's amazing. Henshaw's is like my second home. It's a place where people can go repeatedly um, to grab new knowledge or old knowledge that's still relevant. 
There's four things that we want to achieve. Knowledge, skills, independence, and confidence. So depending who you are, if you're a professional, or you're a visually impaired person, or you're somebody attached to them like friends and family, you're gonna grab at least one, two, or three, or four of those elements. But if you're talking about visually impaired people, you've got a bit of confidence and independence. Skills and knowledge will create confidence and independence. The message is quite simple. There's a pretty much a solution to all the problems. Listen, some of the some people are not going to have their eyesight recovered. You know that that's that's just the way it is. Um, but with help and support, technology, techniques, it can be better. It's never going to be the way it was but it can be better and people can get on with really good lives, helping themselves and having support from others.